life yelled at a foundation like this. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. everybody welcome back to my channel so today i am here to do a quick review on makeup forever water tone so if you saw my last foundation review i was explaining that my favorite foundation in the entire world which was makeup forever water blend has been discontinued and makeup forever opted to introduce two new foundations the reboot foundation and water tone basically in its place now i was on the fence about which one of these i wanted to try and i ended up buying reboot first and deciding to go ahead and try water tone as well water tone would be the closer cousin of the two to the old water blend formula so i'm very interested to see how this turns out so like water blend the water tone foundation is supposed to have more of a water like feel and be waterproof but water tone is also 94 percent naturally derived ingredients and it's supposed to give you 24 hour coverage and be transfer proof it's really a skin tint once again going along with the trend of the new skin tints and more tinted moisturizers that are better for this time of year being lightweight and breathable and trying to keep your your skin hydrated fresh and clean also this formula is 78 percent water based whereas water blend was 80 percent it has no animal derived ingredients so for those of you all who are uh, conscious of the cruelty free and, and vegan aspects there's no animal derived ingredients and the formula is supposedly sustainable so it's supposed to be a light to medium buildable coverage and the finish is supposed to be radiant now there are a couple of things off the bat that kind of give me pause but i will save those until after i actually test this because i want to be fair i, I want to be unbiased in this review so without further ado this is water tone as you can see it does come in a frosted glass recyclable bottle as um the product claims say and this top has a little groove in it which is meant for you to take this and actually pump your product into it kind of like a palette and off the top i see it jiggling water blend if you've ever used it kind of had a water jelly type consistency which seems to be on par and this is without me touching it so all right i ended up getting shade y528 i was previously using y505 in water blend as well as the stick foundation so i ended up having to get shade y528 which i'll talk about in a second but anyway this is what the foundation looks like and the packaging according to the instructions on makeup forever website it does not mention anything about primer and in some of the other um, press pieces i've seen them say to hydrate uh, with their serum and then go into the foundation kind of like a tinted moisturizer i don't have their serum so i used mine instead and i'll forego primer for this exercise so i'm going to take it and you can use a 
You can use a sponge, you can use your fingers, you can also use a brush. I'm going to use a brush just because that's how I normally apply makeup. So at first glance, this color, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. I hope you can see that, but we'll see directly onto my face. Off the top, this color is called Coffee Bean, and I can see how it kind of has a red undertone and it almost seems like it might be a little bit dark but gonna take that stipple it out a little bit and and blend mm. And I did not put on, put on a lot. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to the center, the high points of my face and kind of blend out from there. So, y'all, I have seasonal allergies amongst other things and I also have sensitive skin. And there's something happening right now that I don't particularly care for. I don't think it's going to be too good for me. So, all right. Just looking at this first pass of coverage, the color is not as bad as what I think it will be. I will insert a picture of what this foundation looks like in natural light so we can compare. Um, but, hmm, the color doesn't look too bad. I can't see where I have a whole lot of coverage. It's, it's very much tinted moisturizer like as opposed to being a light coverage um foundation i'm gonna let this dry and do one more layer what i am experiencing that i don't quite care for is the scent like i said i do have seasonal allergies i also don't tolerate certain scents like lilies and things like that very well. I can feel my, my eyes trying to water and itch and my nose kind of closing up. I don't, I'm not sure that that is going to, to work for me very well. It also kind of concerns me. I do have sensitive skin and there are a lot of scented products that I can't use i.e. things that are scented like lilies. Soaps, I pretty much use Dial Basic or Kirk's Castile soap and a couple of other things very, very sparingly. Like Honey, I Wash the Kids from Lush Light Scents. But I don't use anything strongly scented because my skin does not particularly care for it. So this is a second layer that I'm pushing through so that we can see what this this looks like and again the coverage is quite light the formula is not bad and the color is passable it's not perfect but from what I can tell in the mirror it's passable so I am going to take a quick picture and show you all what this looks like in natural light. Well, this is what this foundation looks like both inside and outside in natural light. And I can say at a glance, the color and the finish really aren't that bad. They're pretty comparable to my skin in terms of finish. So that is a positive that I can say. I'm going to go into my HD powder and just lightly dust and blur my face. So to the touch, it is a little bit more wet, which I expected based on the previous iteration, if you will, of this foundation. 
and my skin doesn't feel tight I can barely feel it on my face it does just kind of feel like a next layer of lotion but y'all this scent is about to run me away from here so this is what that foundation looks like applied and powdered so shade wise there are 20 shades of this foundation ranging from i believe light to medium to tan to dark colors and my complaint and a lot of people's complaint is that the shades they used to wear flat out do not exist the shades adjacent to the ones they used to wear flat out do not exist for example i'm wearing y503 in reboot now i wore y505 in the stick and in face and body in this foundation, I believe the shades jump from Y445 straight to Y528. And the idea with it being a skin tint is that one shade should be able to accommodate multiple shades in between and kind of adapt and still look well. I'm not 100% satisfied with that on first look. I seem to be kind of tolerating one or the other, but if you saw the difference between the three shades I just named, it's kind of marked. And I could totally see how somebody who is less neutral than me maybe would have a hard time finding a shade that was just great for them. I'll also say this, normally, you know, most foundations, if it's a prestige foundation, you're going to be able to go to a counter and see what works for you or not. Or you'll go in a Sephora store and you'll have somebody be able to help you test. I think Makeup Forever does offer some samples with purchase. But unlike Reboot, Reboot, I wasn't sure what color that I was going to wear. So I was able to go in the store, test it and discover what would be right for me water tone is only sold online it is only sold at sephora.com or makeupforever.com and you can't even do like online site to store therefore you're not going to see the physical iteration of this product until it gets to your house so you really are taking a blind chance spending i believe 37 dollars for this foundation not knowing if the color is going to match so those are my two biggest qualms the shade range i'm not satisfied with but even more importantly for me i cannot stand this fragrance so guys it's it's a no i really wanted to love water tone i really 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 wanted to love water tone but my nose doesn't love it my eyes my throat does not love it and i'm afraid my skin might not after a while either so i'm gonna take this off and and try again i also am not crazy about this plastic pump but i also understand why they did it i like the cap <laughs> I do like the cap. I do like the packaging. And you do get 1.35 ounces, which is more than what you get in some foundations of comparable price. So value on price, I can't be mad at that. But for me, it's a no. So with that being said, if you've tried water tone or any of the new skin tints, let me know what your thoughts are. Tell me what you're using and who knows, I might try it on this channel. But thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my reboot review as well on YouTube as well as the full comprehensive review at MacTheMacRoot.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
And as always, do what you love, love what you do, and keep at it. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.